The Norwegian railway network consists of 2552 kilometers, 1586 miles of electrified railway lines, constituting 62% of the Norwegian National Rail Administration's 4114 kilometers, 2556 miles of line. In 2008, electric traction accounted for 90% of the passenger kilometers, 93% of the ton kilometers and 74% of the energy consumption of all trains running in Norway, with the rest being accounted for by diesel traction. Topic: History Topic: Early schemes. Technology for electric railways was demonstrated in Germany in 1879. The first revenue line took electric traction into use in 1881. The first electric industrial railway in Norway opened in 1892 at Skoffos Brook near Skien. Two years later, parts of the Oslo tramway were electrified. The first alternating current AC line became operational in 1892, while the first line to use a single phase, single overhead wire power supply opened in Germany in 1903. In 1912, all German railway agreed to use the 15 kV 16.7 Hz AC standard, which was later adopted first by Sweden and then by NSB. Several of the private lines that preceded NBS's electrification chose different standards. Sidvaranga chose to install the only mainline direct current DC and third rail system. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mainline systems. The first 3 mainline systems to be electrified were private or hauling lines. The Thamshavn line opened in 1909, and remained in revenue use until 1973, after which it was converted to a heritage railway. It is the world's oldest remaining alternating current railway and the only narrow gauge railway in the country to have been electrified. It was followed by Norsk Transport's Arduken and Tino's lines two years later, and Sidvaranger's Kirkin's Bjornvation line in 1922. The Norwegian State Railways NSB first electrification was parts of the Drammen line in 1922 and the Aar Hauling Afoten line in 1923, which connects to the Aar line in Sweden. The use of L1 locomotives on the Drammen line proved a large cost saver over steam locomotives, and NSB started electrifying other lines around Oslo. From 1927 to 1930, the remainder of the Drammen line, and the continuation along the Randsfjord and Sorland lines to Kongsvinger were converted, along with the first section of the trunk line. In 1935, the Hardanger line became the first section of new NSB track to be electrified. From 1936 to 1940, NSB electrified the Ostfold line as well as more of the Sorland line and the Bratsberg line, connecting all electric lines west of Oslo. Topic: The 1940s onwards. 
During the 1940s, NSB electrified the Sawland line, although the final section from Egerson to Stavanger was not converted until 1956. In 1957, the Kirkeens Bjornvation line became the only line to remove the electrification and replace the electric locomotives with diesel power. The 1950s saw the electrification of several of regional and commuter lines around Oslo, including the Kongsvinger line, the Trunk line and the Dovre line from Lillestrøm to Hamer, the Vestfold line and the Eastern Ostfold line. This was largely due to NSB's program to remove all steam locomotives, either by electrification or by dieselization. In the late 1950s and 1960s, several to be electrified lines were operated with diesel locomotives as an interim solution. The 1960s saw the remaining two stem lines in southern Norway, the Bergen and Dovre lines, electrified along with the Gjøvik line. The Bergen line was completed in 1964 and the Dovre line completed in 1970. This finished all the planned electrifications, and the authorities deemed the remaining lines unprofitable to electrify because of low traffic. During the 1990s, a new program was attempted, this time to electrify the entire network, but only the Arundel line was converted before the program was cancelled. However, new lines around Oslo, including the Leeresen and Oslo tunnels on the Drammen line, and the Gardermen and Aska lines were electrified at the time they opened. <laughs> System Fifteen kilo volts, sixteen and two thirds hertz AC system. Norway, like Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, uses single phase fifteen kilo volts AC railway electrification at sixteen and two thirds hertz, precisely for electric train systems. However, there are differences in the supply of power. Nearly all power is derived from rotary converters or static inverters in the substations, which are fed with three-phase AC of 50 Hz from the public grid. There are only two power stations generating single-phase AC. That at Kjofossen, feeds its power directly in the overhead wire, while that at Hakovic supplies a small 55 kV single-phase AC network, which feeds five substations. However at two substations, there are also converters. In earlier days, Nagard's hydroelectric power station delivered single-phase AC for line between Narvik and Karuna. The single-phase AC line running to Sweden is now used between 68 degrees 26 minutes 51 seconds north 17 degrees 27 minutes 27 seconds east and 68 degrees 25 minutes 33 seconds north 18 degrees 0 minutes 15 seconds east as the 15 kV line for feeding the overhead wire. Topic. Description From Haugavik Power Plant, two 55 kV long single-phase AC powerlines depart, one to Sande and the other to Sundhorgen switching station. 
At Sundhorgen switching station, the lines depart, one over Skollenborg railway substation and Norigutu substation to Neslandsvatten substation and the other to Aska substation, which has an interesting track. It runs from Sundhorgen switching station northward and shares north of Foss at 59 degrees 43 and 9 degrees 51 minutes 38 seconds east the towers of a three-phase AC lines. It runs then eastwards and passes three substations. M. John Dalen at 59 degrees 44 minutes 41 seconds north 10 degrees 01 02 E Langham at 59 degrees 44 minutes 48 seconds north 10 degrees 06 46 E Libyan at 59 degrees 47 minutes 43 seconds north 10 degrees 15 minutes 10 seconds south of Ulvenven substation at 59 degrees 48 minutes 20 seconds north 10 degrees 20 minutes 13 seconds east. It runs again on own towers overhead until termination tower at 59 degrees 49 minutes 26 seconds north 10 degrees 24 minutes 33 seconds east. The rest of line is underground. <laughs> Power stations Name town power year of inauguration coordinates Substations fed from 55 kV grid Switching stations Substations with converters In Norway nearly all railway substations uses motor generators which converts three-phase AC from public grid into single-phase AC. Most of these devices are mounted on rail cars for quick replacement. Some substations are in blind-ending tunnels. The list may be incomplete and coordinates may be incorrect. Other systems The Oslo Tramway and the Oslo Metro both use 750 volts DC, the tramway via an overhead wire and the Metro via third rail. The tramway previously used 600 volts DC, while its Ekerberg line used 1,200 volts DC. Topic: <laughs> Future. Further plans have been launched, in particular the section of the Nordland line from Trondheim to Steinkia, which is part of the Trondelig commuter rail, and the Merica line, which connects to the electrified middle line in Sweden. <laughs>